Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rudder from HowToBlackHair.com and I will be teaching you how to do single braids. Single braids are individual braid extensions. The name of this style is also interchangeably called box braids as well. The materials that you will need to do your single braids will be 10 packages or bundles of synthetic braiding hair. You will also need a hair comb hair cutting scissors, hair gel, and a water spray bottle to mist your hair as needed. Also, if you would like to style your single braids the way that I will be styling my braids, the accessories you will need will be bobby pins and headbands. So once you have all of your supplies ready for your style, in the next step, step number two, I will show you how to do your single braid step by step. Here we are in step number two of the single braid style. In this step, I will be showing you in detail how to do your single braid extensions. First, we will begin by preparing our hair for our braids. You will then part the hair on your head and prepare that hair as well. Then I will show you in detail how to do your own single braids. When preparing your extensions for your single braids, you want to make sure that you concentrate on one bundle at a time. My box braids will be pretty long, so I will actually use this entire length of the hair. If you would like your box braids to be at your shoulder or a little bit below your shoulders, you will be cutting this package in half. But since I want them long, I will leave the length as is and remove the rubber band from the bottom and the top. So now you're going to hold your extensions directly in the middle, making sure the bottom is as even as possible. And this technique is what I call the tapering technique. What you want to do is make sure that the ends of your hair is not straight across or bluntly cut. The reason why is because when you braid your hair, if the ends are perfectly matched, sometimes the braid can unravel. So the fact that some ends are a little bit thinner, it helps to keep your braids intact at the ends. So what you wanna do is hold the hair with one hand and take your fingers of another and gently pull on hairs that are at the bottom on one side of your extension. You just want to pull a little bit enough to break up the straight cross on the bottom of your hair. You want it to look as if the extensions are gradually just getting a little bit thinner at the bottom. Now I'm just going to shake it out a little bit and tease it a little bit more. You want to do this to all of your bundles of extensions as you are braiding your box braids. So once you finish using all of this hair for your braids, then when you grab your next package, you're going to do the same technique. Next, I will show you how to prepare the hair in your hands for your box braid extensions. Once you have tapered the ends of your extensions, I will now show you how to prepare your hands on your hair for your braids. So what you want to do is take your bundle of hair and we're going to pinch off about a medium sized amount of hair for our braids. So this is about how much hair you want to pinch off. Now, you want to make sure that both sides are even as you get ready to prepare your hands for your extensions. From this point, what you want to do is divide this hair into two pieces. You want to pinch off the hair so that in one hand you're holding a third of what you originally started with, and in the other hand you are holding two thirds of what you've originally started with. So I'm going to pinch off a third amount from this hair here and pull them apart. So now my right hand I have one third and in my left hand I have two thirds. 
From this point, you want to take your third piece of hair and wrap it around this two-thirds amount of hair here. So now this is my third piece that I have here, and this piece is my two-thirds piece. But as you can see now, I have three equal legs that will serve as the parts of my braid. So now that you have your three pieces here, you want to take the three main fingers of your right hand and position it on the one-third piece of hair here. You want to get it as close to this meeting point here as possible. Now that your hand is positioned there, you're going to take your left hand and insert your index finger through the opening and wrap the rest of your fingers around the hair. So once again, you just insert your index finger and the rest of your fingers will close around the hair. Now from this point, what you want to do is take your right hand, twirl it underneath the hair, and tuck your index finger through the opening here in your left hand. So right now with all of my fingers positioned, I'm gonna turn my right hand under, keeping everything tight. I'm gonna insert my index finger through this opening here. And then the hair in between my index finger and my thumb will be closed together. So now my hand is ready for my braid and I still have my three pieces of hair for the braid. And my left hand is free to help me braid. Once again, I will show you the entire process of how to hold your hands for your hair extension. So right now I will be putting all the hair back together. Making sure both ends are equal. And you want to pinch a third off from your portion of hair you have here. So now my right hand is one third and then my left hand is two thirds. You want to take the third and wrap it around the two third of hair you have. Now your third piece here serves as a leg of your braid and so does these other two sections as well. So to position your hands, the three main fingers of your right hand will be positioned on your third piece of hair. Your left hand, you are going to take your index finger, insert it through the opening here, and wrap the rest of your fingers around the hair. Now that everything is held tightly, you're gonna rotate your right hand underneath, holding everything tight. You're gonna insert your index finger through that opening there and pinch the hair in between your index finger and your thumb together. Now your right hand is ready for your braid and you still have your three pieces of hair here and your left hand is free to assist you with your braids. Before you actually begin braiding your single braid, you want to make sure that you've already parted out a section of hair on your head for your braids. So the type of comb that I'm going to be using to part my hair has three different size teeth on it that serve for different purposes. The teeth here on the left side of this comb are the tightest teeth that are closest together and it serves as your typical comb. The teeth here on the right side are wider and it's helpful for detangling your hair and also adding more body and bounce to an already straight or curly style. The teeth here at the bottom of my comb are wide and they are great for detangling your hair and they also serve as a typical pick for any style you choose. So right now I'm gonna be using all of these teeth to help me part my hair for my single braids. So I'm gonna be starting right here on the right side of my head and I'm gonna part out a box shape here close to my ear. So this is the typical size of hair that you want your box braid to be. You wanna get it as close to a square as possible, and if you can't, that's fine, but you want your parts to be neat. And the size of my part is probably about an inch and a half inch on all the sides around. So from this point, I'm going to use my water bottle 
to mist my hair with a little bit of water and then you're going to apply your favorite hair gel to the ends of your hair. Now here we are and we are going to begin by braiding our single braid extensions. But before you begin, I want to let you know that the color of these extensions that I will be using for example will not be the style that I will be using for my braids. My hair is an extremely dark color, it's close to black, so I will be using dark black or dark brown extensions to braid my hair. For example, so that you can see the technique and the entire process, I will be using an extremely light color of extensions to do the box braids. And the color of this hair is blonde. So right now, really quickly, I will show you once again how to position your hands for your box braids. You want to pinch off a third, wrap it around the two thirds, position your three fingers of your right hand on that third piece, and insert your index finger of your left hand and wrap your hands around. Rotate your right hand underneath, insert your index finger through the opening and pinch that hair in between your thumb and your index finger. Now that your right hand is ready, we are going to begin braiding. So I'm gonna go right up here to the part on my head here. And then my left hand is gonna rest over my head to assist me as I start braiding my box braid. So right now I'm gonna gather all of the hair that's in this part with my left hand. Just like that. Then I'm gonna open up my index finger and my thumb to pinch all of the hair in that space. So once again, I have my hair around my fingers and I'm opening up my index finger and my thumb to pinch all of the hair that I have in my left hand here. So now from this point, I'm gonna bring this top piece of hair here to the side with my free hand, and I'm gonna twist my right hand to the right to create a little opening in between my index finger and my thumb. So in between where my fingers have created this opening, I'm going to take my index finger of my left hand and hook it onto that bottom piece of hair to connect that to my left hand here. Now I'm going to take my right hand again and position it on the hair and the piece of extension here, making sure to get everything as tightly as possible. Now my left hand has two separate strands of hair, so I'm going to rotate my left hand to the left. And in this opening in between the two strands, I'm going to hook the index finger of my right hand and connect the strand back to my right hand. Now my left hand is free and I have this piece of hair that hangs over top. So now I'm just gonna hold this hair with my left hand, put it over to the side, and rotate now my right hand to the right. And from that V opening here at the bottom, I'm gonna insert my index finger of my left hand and hook the bottom piece. Now my right hand is free. I'm gonna hold my right hand on that piece of hair there, rotate my left hand again, and in between the opening of those two strands, hook the bottom piece. And you have to do that just a couple of times to make sure that your braid is secure on your head. Now once you've braided down far enough, you should be able to let go without your braid unraveling. From this point, now I'm gonna release my left hand that was over my head, just so it's more comfortable for me to braid here. And then I'm gonna pick up the pieces again and continue to braid until I reach the bottom.
Now that we're nearing the bottom, you're just gonna continue to braid all the way down until you can't go any further. Once you've have finished braiding all the way down to the bottom, what you're going to do from this point is take your scissors and you're gonna trim off those pieces of hair that sticks out of the braid or out of the bottom of the braid here. So I will be taking my scissors and then I'm just gonna trim off this piece that's extremely long here, just cut that off. And then you're gonna work your way trimming off any pieces of hair that sticks out of the braid. Now that I have shown you how to do a single braid extension, remember that the color of the hair was only for demonstration purposes. I will not be using blonde pair extensions to braid my hair, but if you would like to use a different color, feel free. So now I will show you with the black hair how I will be braiding my single braid extensions. The same technique applies. Now I'm actually using the color hair that I will be using for my entire head. So now I'm gonna go right up to my head with my extensions and I will be opening up my thumb and my index finger to grab all of my hair here. So now from this point, I'm gonna take the hair that's up top, and I'm gonna move that to the side, rotate my right hand to the right, create a opening, Insert my index finger of my left hand to hook that bottom piece of hair. Now in my left hand I have two pieces of hair here and in my right hand I have one. So my right hand will remain and my left hand will rotate to the left and in that opening there I will hook my index finger to hook that bottom piece of hair. So now my left hand is free with one piece and my right hand has two strands of hair. The right hand gets rotated to the right and in this opening here, I will hook the index of my left finger to add to that hand again. You're gonna do this process just for a little bit until you have braided down far enough. So once you release your hands, the braid should not unravel. Now I'm gonna take my left hand, move it around more comfortably so that I can finish braiding my braid. So you will just continue braiding to the very bottom until you reach the ends of the hair. Sometimes if one of the legs of the braid seems to run short, what you can simply do is just go ahead and pinch off a little bit of hair from one of the sides and add it to another leg of your braid.
So now once you have braided down your braid as far as you can go, you will be taking your scissors to trim off any hair that is left at the bottom. So now that I've braided as far down as I could, I'm going to be trimming this piece off here. I'm going to take my scissors. Then you're just going to go ahead and trim off that last piece and trim off any hair that sticks out of the braid as well. In this step, I have shown you how to prepare your weave for your braids. I then showed you how to position the hair on your hands for your braids. Next, you've sectioned your hair and then I showed you in detail, step by step, how to do your single braid extensions. So continue the same process over your entire head until all of your braids have been completed. In the next step, step number three, I will be giving you my best tips, tricks, and advice for doing your single braids. Here we are in step number three of the single braid style. In this step, I will be giving you my tips and tricks for doing beautiful single braid extensions. Tip number one, beauty is not pain preventing hair loss and alopecia. If you or if anyone you know suffers from hair loss or alopecia, one of the leading reasons why is probably because they wear their hair extremely too tight. When you're getting any styles done, whether it's a weave or braids or twist, you want to make sure that it's installed comfortably because over time when you constantly wear styles that are tight, you end up losing hair. So be extremely careful when you are getting your hair done or if you are doing your own hair. You want to make sure that once the style is finished, you're comfortable and you're able to sleep at night and go throughout your day without having pain. So in the case that beauty is pain, that is not true because beauty is not pain. Tip number two, braiding close to your roots. When you are getting your single braid extensions installed, you want to make sure that you're braiding as close to the roots of your hair as possible. This ensures that your style looks neat and that it looks as fresh as it can be. When you are braiding your braids and you notice that your weave starts to slide down your hair, simply restart the braid over until it looks the way it is supposed to. Make sure that you're braiding as close to your roots because if not, it will look the difference between a style that is freshly done versus a style that's probably a couple of weeks old. Tip number three, brick parting. When you are parting and braiding your hair, you want to make sure that you use the brick parting method to ensure that not much of your scalp is revealed through your style. So the way that you do your brick parting braids is to imagine the way that bricks are laid for the wall of a home. So for your first layer of bricks, you have one brick and your second brick that meets together for that first layer. For your second layer, you take your next brick and you place it directly over the crease of those two bricks. This ensures for a sturdy wall, and when you are braiding your hair, this ensures that you conceal as much scalp as possible. By doing this method, you're able to have more of a fuller style without as many braids. Tip number four practice. This is by far my most important tip that I have for you and it's also my most overlooked tip of them all. In order to be better at doing your single braid extensions, you must continue to practice at it. No one ever gets it right on their first try. It's extremely rare when that happens. In order to be great at doing your hair, you have to continue to work on the technique and apply the tips and tricks as well. Even though sometimes it can be confusing and difficult and frustrating, just know that if you continue to apply the same techniques when doing your single braid extensions, eventually they will turn out exactly the way that you would like them. So that is all the tips that I have for you when you are doing your single braid extensions. In the next step, step number four, I will be showing you how to do your single braids in a rush.
Welcome to step number four of the single braid style. In this step, I will be showing you how to do your single braid extensions in a rush. This step is extremely helpful when you are doing your single braids because sometimes you may not have enough time to devote to your hair in one day. Say for instance, you have errands to run or appointments to go to, or you even have to go to work earlier than what you anticipated, you want to make sure that you do this step so that your hair is concealed. By doing your single braids in a rush, you're simply braiding enough braids to make your hair appear as if it is completely finished. So right now, I have done my single braids in a rush and my style is not complete. I've made sure to braid enough around the perimeter of my head so that when I pull all of my single braids up, it's covering any of my real hair. So right now I have my hair in a high bun and I'm going to remove my elastic band to show you how your hair will look when you do your braids in a rush. So when you are doing your single braids in a rush, you can probably get away with putting a couple of rows around the perimeter of your head, depending on how thick or thin your real hair is. So right now I probably have a depth of three to four braids going entirely around my head. So I have three to four rows of braids around my head right now. What I've done is taking my natural hair and I took a rubber band and placed it into a secure ponytail. You could leave your hair loose if that's what you choose, but by putting your hair in the middle into a ponytail, it helps your real hair to lay as flat as possible to conceal with your braids. So when you're braiding your hair, just make sure that you have enough rows so that when you flip the hair back over your real hair, your real hair is not showing through the braids. This is an extremely helpful tip to follow along with as you are doing your single braid extensions. So many times I've had to stop what I was doing and run off to take care of things that come up throughout the day. So by making sure that your first main objective is to braid around the perimeter of your head, it saves you from a bad hair day and it looks as if your hair is finished when in fact it's not. Now that you know how to do your single braid extensions in a rush, in the next step, step number five, I will show you how to seal the ends of your braids. Here we are in step number five of the single braid style. In this step, I will be showing you how to seal the ends of your braids. First, I will show you how to seal your ends by simply using hot water. Then I will show you how to seal your ends with a braid sealer. To begin, I will first show you how to seal the ends of your braids by dipping them into hot water. And then I will also show you a second way of sealing your braids by using a braid sealer. Please note that by using these products and these techniques, there's a potential risk because of the water itself and because of using the braid sealer as well. These products can get extremely hot so you have to be responsible and know that your safety is in your hands. So first I will show you how you will be dipping the ends of your braids in the water. But to begin, I want to note that you must use a cup with a cool handle as you dip your braids in the water. The reason why I like to use a cup is because it only contains a small amount of water and it limits the splashing that can happen when you dip your braids. Also, the reason why you want to make sure that you have a handle on the cup is because at any moment you possibly may have to reach and grab your cup and you want to grab a cool handle that does not get hot versus grabbing the entire cup itself. And also, you will be needing scissors to trim the ends of your braids as well. So to begin, you want to make sure that you have your hair section into two sides so that you can dip each side at once. Also, you're gonna have a dry towel in front of you because when you pull your braids out of the water, you will have a barrier protection to wrap your braids around as you rinse off and wring out any water. So what you wanna do is grab one side of your braids and since they are a lot of braids, you're just going to go ahead and roll them all the way to the end. Now that we have the ends here, you're just going to gather them and slowly dip them into the water. You want to be careful and you do not want to lean on the cup at all. 
So you're just gonna submerge it for a little bit and just kind of shake it just a little bit to release any air bubbles. And then as you bring your braids out, you wanna make sure that you have your towel in front of you to catch any water and steam. So out, I pull my braids. And then I'm gonna use my towel to protect me as I dry off the ends. So what I like to do is just squeeze down the braids as I go all the way down to wring out any water and to help get any steam off of the braids. Just note that you only need to submerge the bottom of your braids because that's where you want to seal them. So now that I've dried off my braids, they're comfortable to the touch and they're pretty warm. And now what you wanna do is just grab a small group of braids at a time and your scissors, and you're gonna trim off any wispy ends that stick out of place. So when sealing your braids with water, you're going to do the same thing to the other side of your braids as well. Now for a second option, I will be showing you also how to seal your braids with a braid sealer. Now that I have shown you how to seal the ends of your braids with hot water, I will show you how to do so with a braid sealer. If you would like to know more information on a braid sealer, make sure to go to howtoblackhair.com for more. So first, I will begin by taking a section of my braids that's closest to the front of my face to show you exactly how you want to seal off the ends. So on this sealer, I have two different size holes, one for large braids and one for small braids that I can use to seal the ends. So whichever applies, you can go ahead and squeeze the braid into the opening of your sealer. So I'm gonna grab my first braid and my sealer is already hot. So I'm gonna lift up my braid and I'm just gonna go up a couple of inches from the bottom of the braid and pinch it with the sealer. So I insert it into this cone shape opening and I pinch the braid and now it's already sealed. This is much better than using a lighter or a candle lighter because when you do that, most times the flames shoot up the hair and that's the possibility of burning yourself or your hair or your scalp. So you must be careful when you're dealing with any hot tools, even the sealer because you could potentially burn yourself if you're not careful. But this is great because there's no fire or flames. It simply just melts the fibers of your hair. So right now I'm gonna grab another one and show you how easy it is to use a braid sealer. So I'm gonna lift up my braid, and I'm simply gonna go up a couple of inches from the bottom. I'm going to pinch off the braid. And now my braid has been sealed. In this step, I have shown you how to seal the ends of your single braid extensions. First, I showed you by simply dipping the ends of my braids into hot water. Then I showed you a second method by simply using a braid sealer. In the next step, step number six, I will show you the finished results to your single braid style. Welcome to step number six, the finished results to your single braid style. Have fun rocking your new hair.
So now that your single braids have been completed, in the next step, step number seven, I will show you how to accessorize your new hairstyle. Here we are in step number seven of the single box braid style. In this step, I will show you three simple ways to accessorize your new hair. For style number one, I will be using headbands, a hair tie, and bobby pins. For style number one, I put all of my single braids into a high ponytail. I then grab all of the braids, wrap them in a big twirl, and spin them around on top of my head for a bun. To keep some of those unruly braids in place, I use bobby pins to keep them put. For the finishing touch, I put on my head all three headbands. This is style number one. Next will be style number two. For style number two, I will be using bobby pins. For style number two, I grabbed a section of braids that was above my left eyebrow and I braided them into a French braid. I then swirled the braid around in a complete circle and simply pinned bobby pins in place along the way of the braid to keep it flat and neat. Also, I took a section of braids here on the right side of my head, laid them over my hair, and then I simply pinned those into place as well. So here you have it. Style number two.
Next will be style number three. For style number three, I will be using a headband and bobby pins. For style number three, I took the braids that were in front of my head and swooped them over to the right side of my head. I then used bobby pins along the way to keep the braids in place. Next, I took a little bit of braids from the left side of my head and also a few braids by my ear on the right side of my head. I brought those braids together and placed them into a ponytail behind my head. Last but certainly not least, style number three. So there you have it, three easy and simple ways to style your single box braids. In the next step, step number eight, I will show you how to safely remove your single braid extensions. Here we are in step number eight of the single box braid style. In this step, I will show you how to safely take down and remove your single braid extensions. To begin, you want to make sure that you have a pair of hair cutting scissors to help you. If in fact the ends of your braids have been sealed by water, you can go ahead and take them down by hand and also use a pair of scissors to help you do so. Also, if you've sealed the ends of your braids with a braid sealer, it is a must that you at least cut off the melted end at the bottom of your braids to help you take down your hair. To begin, I will show you how to take your braids down with scissors since the ends of my braids have been sealed with a braid sealer. To begin taking down your single braid extensions, you could simply just start taking them down right away if in fact they have been sealed by hot water. But since my braids have been sealed with a braid sealer, I have to at least trim off the sealed ends of the braids. So for example, I will take one of my braids and show you how to remove your braid. So you simply at least want to make sure that you have your scissors and you trim off the melted end of your braid to take down your hair. Once you have cut the end of your braid, you could simply continue to take the braid down by hand. Depending on how long or how short your braids are will determine how long it will actually take you to remove your braids. My braids are extremely long so if I want to I can just go ahead, snip off the end and take them down by hand. 
or you could simply cut up a little bit higher, but you must be careful. So as you can see my braid here, my hair is way shorter than what the braid length is. So if we go up to the top of my braid, it's kind of difficult for me to see where my hair is, but I noticed that I have a few pieces of hair that stick out. So I would say at the least, my hair is probably about this long, even though I can see my hair up here. But to make sure that I do not cut my hair, I'm gonna double this length and actually cut a ways down to trim my weave. This ensures that you will not cut your hair and that you've cut a safe length so that you can take down your braids. So we're gonna cut here. And this is optional. You could simply just cut off the bottom end alone or go up a little bit of ways on the braid and cut the hair as well. So now at this point, you're just gonna take your fingers and unravel your braid until you reach the roots of your hair. So now once you've reached the top, sometimes it's pretty easy to slide the hair out and then you are finished. So once again, I will show you how easy it is to remove your extensions. I'm gonna grab one of the braids in the front of my head and I'm gonna skim to see how long my hair is. And I can see my hair sticking out here, but I'm gonna estimate and say that my hair is this long. Then I'm gonna take double the length of that space, go down the braid, and that's where I will trim, just to be safe. Now you're simply gonna grab your braid and unravel by hand until you reach the very top. Taking down your braid extensions is an extremely easy and simple process. You could simply cut off the melted ends of your braids or even take down all of your braids by hand. Thank you for watching the single box braid style. Be sure to check out our videos, blogs, and online store at howtoblackhair.com. Thanks for watching.